Howdy do, sir. What can I interest you in swapping today? I'll give you anything you want in the store for it. <laughs> I'm home! Don't get down here. You've got to see this! Daddy, Daddy, come look! Later, honey. Huh. Coop! What's up, Dad? I was going to spend the afternoon repairing this keen old rotary phone. Yawn. But then I made a trade for this, the Mechazor Warrior Model Kit. Cool. You know, I had one of these when I was your age. This baby's fully loaded. The Thunder Power Launcher, Cyber Shield, and the super cool Zord of Zothra. Boy, these instructions sure are complicated. Ah, instructions are for wimps. <laughs> Super duper wacky schwack glue. We'll stick anything to anything in seconds. Uh, oh, good. I need a big splorch of it to glue these bad boys together. Daddy! Yes, Smilly? You promised to look at my ski heel Sophie surprise, so come look. But I. Uh... Yeah! Sorry, sweetie pie. Uh, I'll just stay here and get a head start on the model. Oh, nothing doing, mister. We're building this one together. Now drop the glue and let's go, sport! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and stinky brothers. Huh. Introducing Ski Hill Sophie! Yeah! Whoa! All right! Hooray! Amazing! <laughs> Unbelievable! Gotta go! Hey, that was just Sophie's practice jump. You're staying right here, buddy. Huh. Okay, Millie. Okay! <laughs> There's only so much ski jump excitement a daddy can stand in one day. Hey, what are you doing? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Coop, I'm tired of you fighting with Millie's cat. Ah, you broke my new old phone. But he was messing with our model. He wasn't doing anything. One more fight and you'll be sent to your room. Understood? Why, you? Come back here, you lousy furball. Leave him alone. Fine, now you're confined to your room for the rest of the day. Bug-eyed, hairless creepazoid. I thought you might be hungry, son. Huh. Coop, you have to understand that as your parent, I have to follow through when I discipline you. I know. So you will have to spend the rest of the day in your room, like I said. I know. But that doesn't mean we can't work on the model in here. This? Oh, no. Uh, oh, maybe these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hand me the glue, Coop. Dad! You said you'd come and watch Rub My Tummy Tum Teddy's new tumble trick. Uh, well, a promise is a promise. Come on, Coop. Sorry, Dad. I'm supposed to stay in my room for the rest of the day. Remember, following through? Yeah, Coop stays in his room. All right, but save the Zord for me. Coming, honey! <laughs> Cyber Shield, cool. What are you looking at? How about a little Thunder Fist, cat? Get off of me, Monkey Cake! Leave Mr. Cat alone! That's it! You two need to be separated! Huh? Oh no. You two really do need to be separated. <laughs> Super duper wacky schwack glue. Okay, on the count of three, Millie. One, two, three. No! <laughs> well, it looks like you two are stuck together, so you better find a way to get along. No! Until I can unstick you.
knock this one into tomorrow. <laughs> this book, Remedial Remedies for Ridiculous Mishaps. The book says that if you want to dissolve glue, use perfume. <laughs> nope. Don't worry, Mr. Cat. This ought to work. The book says it scares away skunks, too. <laughs> nope. It says a little elderly toe jam might loosen the gears. <laughs> Uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I guess maybe I could let you work on the robot while we check more books. It says here that a couple of drops of radioactive meltonium might work, but they may grow an extra head and glow in the dark. Hmm. Now where is that? Screwdriver? What, is it booby-trapped or something? Hmm. Well, thanks then, I guess. Mechazor warrior mission, defenders from alien invasion. Yes! <laughs> Attention, hostile aliens. You have been targeted for elimination. That wasn't mentioned on the box. Prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> you did this! You'll reprogram the Mechazord Warrior to eliminate me! Attention, hostile aliens. Prepare to be eliminated. You have been targeted for elimination. Nice going, Fall Brain. Whatever comes after me, comes after you, too! That thing is so cool! Thunderfest! There is no escape. Hey, Goop! We found an ancient voodoo ritual to dissolve glue! Sounds great, Dad! Slam and John. You cannot hide from me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Gotta get out of here. No, wait, not that way! Way to go, Freak Beast, you really cool. Prepare to be eliminated. Uh oh. You will pay for that. You are doomed. We need to fight back or we're toast. Toast? <gasps> Grab those plates. Lock and load, cat. Uh, uh, uh. Cyber shield. It is time for final elimination. Sword of Sauron. <laughs> elimination. This ought to work. The book says it scares away skunks. Danger, Metador Warrior Malfunction. Did I hear the Mechazor Warrior in here? <gasps> my beautiful Mechazor Warrior. It's not my fault. Cat programmed the Mechazor to go crazy. Mr. Cat, you're free. Millie's good.
shoe must have dissolved the glue. And my hands. This is what I get for throwing away the instructions. Can you forgive me, partner? Maybe. If I don't have to clean this up alone. We started it together, we finish it together. Great. Let's start with him. Get a move on, Coop. We are clearing out the crawl space. Time to give this box of old Bootsville buglers the boot. Daddy, my toes have crust on them. Yeah, I'll trim them off in a jiffy, honey. Uh, Coop, can you take this old news to the curb? This could be bad news for my back. <laughs> Fishy Frisky Bits, I found his secret stash. Hey, cat, need some help picking up your kitty treats? Okay. <gasps> Saved you one. It's not nice to tap. He got an F on his history report. Unless it involves your brother and failing grades. It wasn't my fault. The cat trashed my report. I taped it back together, but the scraps got mixed up. In 1492, Queen Isabella discovered Columbus eating Thanksgiving turkey in his ships, the Nina, the Panda, and the Santa Claus. That's <laughs> wrong, right? Why does bad stuff always happen to me? Why did that cat have to happen to me? Negative thinking gets you nowhere. You've got to think positive, Coop. Okay, I'm positive bad things happen to me. I think I've got just the thing to help you. Old self-help motivational tapes. Tapes? I've heard of them, but I've never actually seen one. I'm okay, everyone else needs help. Sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, a little help here? <laughs> just fall asleep and our subliminal slogans will change your life. Well, I got nothing to lose. It's okay. Problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. <sighs> oh, I don't feel any different. But that's okay. Problems don't bother me. Morning, cat. That's okay. I will not give in to negative thinking. You can have the major munch, Millie. I wanted to try munchy honey bumps of crunch anyway. Good for you, Coop. No, I want munchy honey bumps of crunch. Bert Burger, you stop that racket. Good morning, Mrs. Munson. You're looking a lovely shade of purple today. Oh, why, thank you. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. You're in a good mood for someone who got an F on his history report. When you embrace the positive, you'll see that you and me are free to be the we that we were meant to be. Looks like the nerdlinger forgot to put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the coolest lens flare off his pasty white chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I will not feed my fears. <laughs> Do you have your winky ink rainbow marker set on you? Mm-hmm. All ten magical hues. <laughs> Boots, no beagles! Go, dogs, go! All right! Woo! Dad? Dad! I had the best day ever! That self-help tape actually worked! That's great, Coop! Nothing's gonna stop me now. Hmm. 
problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. Problems bother me. <laughs> bother me. I will give in to negative thinking. Catastrophe, catastrophe, feed my fears. <sighs> it's another great fall! The floor is so far down. That's not okay. Problems bother me. <sighs> Morning, Coop. I got you a brand new box of Major Munch. Uh, what if I choke or developed a sudden allergy to milk? That's not okay. It's a catastrophe. Look at all that spilled milk. Bye, baby. <laughs> there he is, Lord. Cool. To the Bootsville Beagle victory box with us. Bootsville Beagle. It's dark in here. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Problem bother me. Keep it down. I'm trying the old and the truth! <laughs> it's time to give in to negative thinking! Coop! Coop! What's wrong? Everything! <laughs> I will feed the cat as much food as he wants. What cat wants? Cat gets obey. The cat obey. The cat. There is no catastrophe I can overcome. More furniture. <laughs> Problems bother me. I will give in to negative thinking. Catastrophe, catastrophe, feed my fears. Oh, that cat's been playing me. I will feed the cat. I will feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Dad? Feed the cat. Feed the cat. <gasps> what cat wants, cat gets. Cat? The anger frightens me. I've got to save Dad! But problems bother me. The only way to beat Cat is to be as evil as he is! But that's not okay. I'm a good kid. But in order to be good, I've got to be bad. For Dad! No one messes with me. I'm your worst nightmare. You got a problem with that punk, do ya? No one messes with me. Coop, when did you switch from gum to hard candy? Ever since I wised up, buddy boy. The only way to fight a bad cat is to be an even badder Coop. Is that your dad's leather jacket? <laughs> ah! Now that's what I call walk the dogs. Now give me your lunch money. <laughs> I told you to stay off my zippin'. Oh, Grandma, oh. or your gnomes are gonna oh. take a one-way trip to oh. the bottom of your wishing well. <laughs> Coop, you've changed. So what's it do ya, Denise? Ow! Not cool, Coop. <laughs> wow, Daddy! Mr. Cat will be so happy with all these yummy treats. What cat wants, cat gets. <laughs> Listen up, wussy cat. This little box of kitty treats is all mine. Got it? <laughs> Coop! Have you seen Coop? <laughs> Coop, we gotta talk. It's no good you being bad. Remember me, Dennis? Hey, what's with all the cat treats? Must feed the cat. Wait for me, Daddy. Come on, Coop. We used to share a playpen together. Not anymore. I'm in charge around here now. <laughs> Coop, this isn't you. Oh, no. I know deep down you're still good. You're still good. Huh? No one.
messes with me. You're still good. You got a problem with that, punk? You're still good. You're tearing me apart. <gasps> What? What are we doing in here? That was not funny, Coop. It was the self-help tape, Dad. You turned me bad. Well, at least this time you didn't blame the cat. It's a start. I'm positively proud of you, son. I'm still your worst nightmare. I'm feeling more positive by the minute. Come on, Coop! This game is boring. Plus, Coop never throws me the ball. Like you could even handle the heat I'm throwing, Millie. Come on, Coop. Throw the ball to your sister. Fine. Here's something you can handle. <laughs> nice throw. Wow! What an arm! Get the ball, will you, son? But she, she. No, no, it's a goose ball. Oh, I can't get more dumb sister. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh this is just fun. I'm missing. My shoe! Thanks a lot, Millie. <coughs> there you are. <laughs> Calm down! Fox, man. What's oh, the matter? Rock. And what happened to your shoe? Where's the ball? <laughs> Evil, naked, sewer rat with freckings. Horrible, hairless eyes. <laughs> Millie! It's Connor! It? Dad, Daddy, look, look at what I found! <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest kitty in the whole world? Wait, that's a cat? Oh, can I keep him, Daddy? Oh, please, can I, can I, can I, huh? Oh, please! Hmm. He's got a collar, honey. He must belong to someone. Yeah, someone with really bad eyesight. <laughs> Sorry, Millie, but we can't keep him. Her, or it. We've got to find the owner. <laughs> all right, all right! If we can't find his owner, we'll keep him! Here's your ball. <laughs> That's my Knockley Bill Cheddar Teaser sign consolation round baseball. Don't even think about it, son. Well, what about my ball? I gotta get it back. You know darn well that whatever or whoever enters old lady Munson's yard is never seen again. And I really don't feel like dealing with her today. <laughs> What's still, kitty? Don't you look precious? <laughs> you must be so hungry. That's better. Ugh, I've made enough posters to cover the whole neighborhood. I've decided that I'm going to call him Mr. Cat. Great name. Well, don't get too comfortable, Mr. Cat. I'm going to find your owner. Maybe Mr. Cat and I could help. Uh, sure. Goody! Come on, Mr. Cat! <laughs> there! <laughs> it worked! Finally, we're gonna get rid of that bald squirrel. Did you find my kitty? <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. You found a cat? My dog is hungry. Try to swallow him whole. Ow, 
Sorry, son. I guess this means we'll be keeping Mr. Cat. Goody! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. I can build a care of him, I feed him, and wash him, and deep clean him, and paint him. <sighs> I think I need something for my ears. That cat is so out of here. <laughs> Let's see who you belong to, Mr. Cat. Whoa, this is one weird caller. You've really got it out for this cat, don't you, Coop? Why would you even think of blowing up his collar? And where'd you get the fireworks to do it? Ugh, I told you, Dad, it blew up by itself. Yeah, just finish cleaning up your mess and try to stay out of trouble. Cat! Goodbye, Growler! What have we got here? <laughs> Quickly, boy. Oh, man. Now my lucky baseball is gone, too. <laughs> ah, so that's where she keeps all the stuff. <laughs> Mr. Pat! <laughs> that's a great idea! We'll play safari! <laughs> Mr. Cat, the wild garden gnome is ferocious when startled. But Big Brothers are a whole nother story. Holy moly! Do we have here? Hello, Mrs. Munson. Would you like to meet Mr. Cat? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Mr. Cat is very nice indeed. Too bad I can't say the same about your nasty brother. Alone, they're bad enough. Together, a guy doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Can't draw. He's a cat. <laughs> That's no cat. It's some kind of alien. Coop! First, you blow a crater in the backyard. Then you sneak into Old Lady Monson's yard. And now this. <sighs> I never thought I'd say this, Coop. But go to your room. <sighs> Think, Growler. Perhaps Aloysius would enjoy some sun today. No, that won't do. He and Sir Scratch are up aren't speaking. Maybe he should visit with Tom Tuttle. <gasps> Tom Tuttle's is gone. <laughs> Burton, Burton! Is your brother up yet? Sourpuss is still asleep. Well, I hope he's had time to think about... Oh, Lady Munson! I'll get it. Billy! No! There you are, Mr. Cat. What have you been up to? Your juvenile delinquent son stole all of my confiscated toys and kidnapped Tom Tuttles! Coop wouldn't do a thing like that. I followed his footprints! Oh, 
but those are all left feet. We'll sniff him out, won't we, Growler? Tom Tunnels! Where are you, Tom Tunnels? Tom Tunnels! <laughs> what the? Coop! You can't hide from... Coop, are you... What are... Why? I didn't do this, I swear! Where are the toys you stole from my shed? What? I didn't steal anything from your shed! Um... <laughs> Tom Tuttles! A toy thief! And a gnome napper! I'll deal with you later. I, I, I'm sure it's just a maze he's going through. <laughs> Daddy's gonna give you up for adoption. You! I don't know how you set me up, but... My shoe! So that's the way you want to play it, huh? Well, I'm ready for anything, cat! You'll be sorry you missed me with that rock! Um, isn't anyone gonna get me down from here? Anyone? Anyone see my book report? It's due today and I can't find it! Such a good idea. Oh. I'm not kidding, Dennis. Ever since that cat moved in, my whole life has been turned upside down. Lauren? Harley? What are you guys doing? Making our own horror movie? The, the Suburban Weed Whacker Massacre! massacre. We're transforming the face of contemporary horror. Yeah! It's gonna be wicked awesome! We're sending it to Ghastly Graves. He'll put it on his TV show for sure. <laughs> What's she trying to say? I can't hear you. Who's Ghastly Graves? Ghastly Graves, the host of Ghost Castle, the scariest show ever. It's on every night at midnight. Or is that too late for you babies? <laughs> Unless you're scared. Watch it tonight, Channel 9, Midnight. We're not scared of anything. Yeah, except spiders. Um, The Dark, Old Lady Munson, Candy Apples, Werewolves, Double Ducker Buses, uh, sometimes Aardvarks. Oh, I don't think I can sit through this, Coop. Dennis, if we don't watch the movie tonight, Lauren and Harley will know we chickened out. <laughs> In tonight, viewers, for the Ghoulish Gala, Channel 9. <laughs> Yeesh, it's just a commercial. She's right. We can do this, Dennis. You can vote for tonight's creature feature. Will it be zombie cat flesh eaters? <laughs> Attack of the Mega Leeches? <laughs> or Vampire Roller Derby? Never be above! I think I hear my mother calling Paco! See you, Dennis! Call 555-0100! Right now! I can do this! I can do this! Each call costs 75 cents, and you can vote as many times as you like! Be sure to call in right away, viewers! There's only five more hours to vote! Five hours from now? Isn't that um? The middle of the night? Dad will let me stay up. Uh-uh. It's a school night. Dad won't let you stay up to watch some dumb movie. Oh, yeah? We'll see what he says when I use my powers of persuasion. No. But... It's past your bedtime. But... You have school in the morning. But... And scary movies give you nightmares. Did I forget anything? No. Told you so. <laughs>
All the votes have been counted. It's a landslide win with over 96,000 calls for tonight's coolest gala, Zombie Cat Flesh Eaters. <laughs> Quiet. Well, I suppose you can clean out Mr. Cat's litter box for a month and your Fun Station 2000. No Fun Station! My Captain Blastroid action figure? Three weeks of litter box duty. Two weeks! Two weeks, three days, and 12 hours, or I scream for dead. Deal! Okay, enjoy your bad dreams. Come on, Mr. Cat, it's time for bed. <laughs> Don't be afraid, it's just a movie. he can get any sleep after you made him watch that creepy show. He's been here all night? Of course he has. Zombie cat, just like in the movie. 
Drive a wooden stake through its black heart! Or stuff its mouth with garlic. Then its head will explode. Back to the abyss, you soulless feline buggy cat! You watched that horror movie, didn't you? <laughs> I called what number? 96,840 times? It's how much per call? I'll get it! Hey, Dennis, would you? <laughs> Look, it's Zombie Cat Boy himself! What's going on? Great performance last night, Coop. Better than the movie, even. Huh? Check it out. That cat is going down. <laughs> Coop, what did you do to Mr. Cat last night? He's all dusty. <laughs> You're right, Millie. Cat is dusty. Why don't you give him a bath? <gasps> Good idea, Coop. <laughs> this will fix you right up, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Look who's the scaredy cat now! Oh, Millie! I got something special for Mr. Cat! was low on cash after buying cat's treats, but there was a sale on soy pecan spinach bars. Here. Uh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Baby! Hi, gang! Guess what? There's a neighborhood pet pageant this weekend, and my mom's letting me show Hobby Fluff all by myself. You should come and watch us win, Coop. You can come too, Millie. Maybe you and Mr. Kitty could learn a thing or two. It's Mr. Cat. Of course it is. When Honey Fluff wins, she'll get to travel around and do all the pet shows. Really? The winner goes on tour? Of course. <gasps> oh, we've got to go. The pageant's in only 107 hours. Hmm. Who cares about a dumb old pet pageant? I don't know. I bet Mr. Cat could beat Honey Fluff easy. Ooh, you're right. Mr. Cat is the bestest cat in the whole world. I can't wait to see the look on Phoebe's face when we crush her dreams. That's the spirit, sort of. Yeah, and I can't wait to wave goodbye when you're out on tour. Far, far away. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Cat. <laughs> oh, maybe Mr. Cat doesn't want to be in a pet pageant. Sure he does. Look, he's so excited he can hardly sit still. <laughs> Mr. Cat is mad at me. I shouldn't force him to do it. Oh, of course, Mr. Cat might be more enthusiastic if he knew one of the grand prizes is a year's supply of fishy, frisky bits. <laughs> Yay! He's gonna do it. Tell you what, I'll even volunteer to be Mr. Cat's trainer. <laughs> <laughs> K plus A plus T. Go, Mr. Cat! All right, Cat. Let's see how well you handle an obstacle course. And go! <laughs> Guess I'll have to eat this fishy frisky bit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if a few more and 
encyclopedias help Mr. Cat's posture. Way to go, Mr. Cat! Take a bath! <laughs> Let's see how well you can pose. Yes! You love it! You love it! Get happy! Get angry! Now we're ready to kick some serious tail of the pet show. And then, goodbye, cat. <laughs> You're entering a chicken into a pet pageant? Yeah, we raised Cachatori up from when he was just an egg. He had a brother, but we needed him for an omelet. Well, there is no way he'll beat Mr. Cat. Dennis? Hey, Coop. The judge made me stage manager. If I follow all of his orders for the rest of the day, I get to keep the clipboard. Dennis! Good afternoon. I am Monsieur Flaberty, the head judge for this pitiful, I mean, this most illustrious pet pageant. Today's winners get all the usual perks, travel the globe, a year's supply of fishy, frisky bits, some state-of-the-art pet toys, dog juice, poopy bags, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You want it? You gotta win it! Rawr. Moving on. I'm going to give two very lucky people the honor of being my fellow judges. Mm, you! Oh, and you! Got uh, me? Okay. Dad got picked a judge! We are so gonna win! Are you kidding? Dad'll probably mark us harder so it doesn't look like he's playing favorites. Ah! Phoebe? Are you part ninja? Ooh. I'm so happy you started cat training. Now we'll see each other at all the pet shows. Endless afternoons practicing, late night choreography sessions, or just sharing a love seat while we comb our cat's fur. And, um, skin? What do you mean, all the shows? Oh, didn't you know the trainer always travels with the team? Gotta go! No! I've made a horrible mistake! <laughs> Dennis, I got a big problem! What is it? Temperamental talent? Wardrobe malfunction? Chronic stage fright? No! If Cat wins, I'll be trapped on tour with him for months! I gotta make sure Cat loses! We are kicking off our pet pageant in style with the fashion competition. First up, only fluff. <laughs> what grace! Such energy! for quiet elegance, so don't move. Next up is Mr. Cat. <laughs> well, that is absolutely uninspired. <laughs> <gasps> oh, now there's the fire! <laughs> this one bound is the passion for winning! Bull marks! Tisk, tisk! A six for your own daughter! I should have never taught him those poses! And finally, Lone and Holly's chicken! Catch your toy! No points for Cacciatore. On to the talent competition. <sighs> Where is that no good hairless bug eye? Ah! Baby, give a guy some warning. Honey Fluff, you're up. Oh, Honey Fluff needs more glimmer puss. It's a special coat shine enhancer. I would never tell anyone my show secrets except you, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, honey flop. Jump! Oh. Jump, honey flop. She never gets stage fright. <laughs> Did you see how shiny her coat was? <laughs> <laughs> Cat replaced her fur spray with liquid cement. Why won't you move? Well, two can play the sabotage game. Hot <laughs> <laughs> fluid dancing. <laughs> 
shall I move to the core of my being? What? Isn't he the best dancer in the world, Coop? Oh. Wow! Maybe Katatori can make a comeback! The obedience challenge. The command is to stay. <laughs> Kachatora is out. Maybe if you didn't leave Chicken Bean lying around, he would have stayed still. Give a chicken a chance, man. <laughs> Come on, look at the yummy fishy frisky bit. You know you want it. <laughs> no, Mr. Cat, stay! Halt! Now to escape this madhouse. Hey! I've got you, Mr. Cat. I saved you a box. All you have to do is be a good little. <laughs> oh, that's right, Mr. Cat. Start practicing now so we can win next year. Eh, a little dry, but still way better than the soy pecan spinach bar. <laughs> Dad's gonna freak when he sees this report card. I didn't know it was even possible to get a K in gym class. My ugh, grades would be way better ugh, if I didn't have to spend my time fending off cats. But I've got a plan. All I gotta do uh, is ace the science test tomorrow. Uh, then I'll show Dad my perfect test, along with the report card, and they'll cancel each other out. Uh, sounds easy enough. Hey! Oh, my report card! Whoa, I think I'm gonna hurl. Give it back! I forgot about that trick. What's this, Mr. Cat? A report card? Uh-oh. You know, Coop, I've been putting some serious thought into extending your bedtime. Wow, Dad, you're the greatest! But with grades like this, how can I? I didn't even know it was possible to get a K in gym class. Oh. But... And don't even think about blaming it on Mr. Cat. Fine. Look, Dad, these grades are old news. If I ace my science test tomorrow, it'll totally bring my grades back up. Well, I guess my decision can wait till I see how you do on this test. I'll be the perfect student and study all night and won't let anything distract me. That's the Burton Burger spirit. I'm on it. First, a little cat early warning system. Now, to get down to some serious studying. Pendulum. A weight hung from a fixed point so that it can swing freely back and forth under the influence of gravity. <sighs> Inertia. The tendency for an object in motion to remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Okay. <laughs> Okay, concentrate, centrifugal force. The outward force of a spinning object. Uh, that's good for now. <laughs> Just
just a small snack and I'll hit the books again. <laughs> Ooh, I win, I win! If you lose, cause I win! Who won? I won! And that's not annoying. Uh, how's the studying going, champ? The test is in the bag. Yes! I got him now! Good to see him so enthusiastic! Hmm. What have you been up to? supposed to be studying, not basting a 12-pound bird. What are you doing with pillows in your ears? Millie was playing her music way too loud. Well, sounds like she's quieted down now. Mmm, turkey, warm milk, and pumpkin pie. Well, this'll knock me out like a light. <sighs> Don't study too late, sports. Just as soon as I have a little snack. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. <laughs> Sleepwalking again, Burton Burger! That's the sign of a warped brain! Uh, I slept in? Yeah, you slept in. My bird bath! <gasps> oh no! Uh, I've got a bus to catch! Mm. Went the wrong way! From the day you were born! <laughs> Gravity! If I 
I can't go up. Won't let gravity take me down! Yes! Now to catch the bus. Hey, these are pendulums. I can calculate the swing of their arms. There's no way you're messing up my test now, Cat. I just needed to get into the swing of things. Thanks, Cat. Come on, open up. Is your brother up yet? No, I'm gonna miss the bus. <laughs> No, wait! Woo Coop, you came through with flying colors. I even got the bonus question right. Displacement of water. <laughs> now look what you've done. Mr. Cat, come back. Coop didn't mean it. Tell you what, Coop. Once you fix this hole, put the boulder out with the trash, and apologize to your sister, you've got your later bedtime. Thanks, Dad. But I'm going to bed right now. It's been a long day. I give him a later bedtime and he goes to bed early. I should have tried that years ago. Coop! Coop! What are you still doing in bed? You're gonna be late for school. Good. Wow. Jeez, Coop, you look horrible. I'm sick. Your poor brother's sick, Millie. Yeah! Germ cooties! Hmm, well, you don't have a fever. What do you say we put some menthol rub on your chest, huh? Strong stuff, hey, Coop? <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Really, uh, I think I'm better now. See, all better. <laughs> now I smell like old lady Munson. <laughs> Trust me, it's good for you. And in the fridge, there's some of my world-famous chicken cabbage tofu soup. I have to be at the shop for a delivery, but I'll check in on you on the walkie-talkie. What you need is a day of sleep in a nice, quiet house. Just you and Mr. Cat. Okay, just me and Mr. Cat. <laughs> Some sleep. You better. 
better steer clear of me, or... <gasps> Dad the Coop. Come in, Coop. Over. Dad? Hey there, buddy. That was my sick little guy. Did you get any sleep? I can't sleep. Cat's mugging me. Cat's mugging you? Well, the poor kid's delusional. Uh, not mugging, mugging! Oh, bugging! Well, I don't know, Coop. Maybe you should use this time to get closer to Cat. Oh, like keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Spending time with a pet can make a sick person feel better. Uh, maybe you two could bond over some of my chicken tofu soup. I added extra prune juice to this batch. Uh, uh, sorry, Dad. You're uh, breaking up. I'll talk to you later. <coughs> <laughs> Why don't you come join me on the couch? Watch some cartoons? Hey! Ooh, whatever will I do without my tissues? <laughs> Cat, but remember, my germs are everywhere. Got an easy blow air mattress. <laughs> there we go. Now just to think a nap before I watch more cartoons. <sighs> <laughs> It's just plain weird, even for you. <laughs> hey, 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 come back! Let's see what else a little germy air does to you. <laughs> Dad the coop! Dad the coop! Over! <coughs> Hi, Dad! <coughs> Ugh, that's a nasty cough. I'm not sure we have any cough syrup, but you know what's good for a cough? Uh, uh, soup. Well, I was thinking menthol rub, but how about a cup of tea with honey? I found some, Dad. I'll, uh, leave the soup and the menthol rub for later. <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. Uh, what? Where am I? No! Don't you dare! Stop! Stop! I'll let you use my baseball bat as a scratching post! Okay! Oh! You can use my Captain Blaster and camera bat as a litter box! the fishy frisky bits are. They're in the cupboard behind the mixing bowls. 
<laughs> Coop? Coop, are you there? Dad! Coop? Dad! Coop? Dad! Did you hear me? Hey, Coop, how are you feeling? Did you have any soup yet? Soup! I'm getting the distinct feeling you don't like my soup. Uh-oh. You know, if it's the pickles, you can just pick them out. The cabbage, well, everyone knows you can't make chicken soup without cabbage. And lots of hot sauce is the only way to cure a cold. No, not the soup! At least warm it up first! Coop? Hello? Hmm, huh. must have fallen asleep. Good for him. Looks like someone's feeling better. Why on earth is the couch outside? <sighs> Coop! <laughs> uh, Cat and I were just bonding. It looks more like you're tormenting poor Mr. Cat. Oh, it's all right. I'm here now. Spending time with Cat did make me feel better, Dad. That and your soup. Really? Well, then I'll whip up an extra batch to keep you healthy, son. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Cat. You've got Coop's cold. <laughs> I'll take care of you. You just go play doctor. <laughs> Cleaning the house is swap? I'd have done it for free to get away from Cat. But if we work for free, we can't buy the remastered DVD of Captain Lostroid, Master of Disasteroid! True. <coughs> if this place was called the House of Dust, your dad would be a gazillionaire. Whoa! Look at all this cool stuff! The astounding Blase, mysterious maestro of the highly improbable, reveals his greatest illusions. Oh, he was mysterious, all right. Legend has it Blase vanished while performing his greatest trick, the Cabinet of Curiosity. And I had to trade our washing machine and a stack of mint condition Gooey Louie comics for this baby. Cool magic rings. Observe, an ordinary scarf, or is it? Ta-da! Bravo! Ah! Ah! Let me help you, Dennis. You seem to have a corker in your nose. Presto! Very funny. Better be careful, boys. You don't know what mysterious powers you might unleash. Dennis, I think we should unleash our mysterious powers on the neighborhood by putting on our own magic show. Sure. Just as soon as I figure these things out. <laughs> Bring on the man-eating tigers! Yeah! And the tiger-eating lions! <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, 
from the parallel dimensions of the unknown, from the shadows at the edge of mystery, I give you the Great Coutini! <laughs> Thank you! I will first astound you with the Jug of Astonishment! Wow! Dennis, the jug! Oh, <clears throat> Cooptini, you are a complete stranger to me. In that case, hey, no fair. Mr. Cat volunteered first. This <laughs> act is anti-cat. I'm not anti-cat. I'm anti-Mr. Cat. <laughs> cool. Okay, we'll take the cat. <laughs> Here you go. Mr. Cat is in the show. I think your joke has gone far enough. Oh! 
Growler. The astounding Blase's cannon? That's it! The cabinet and magic props are going back to the House of Swap today! And you, mister, are grounded until we find Mr. Cat! I need to find that fleshy freak fast, or I'll never see sunshine again! My Grammy always used to say, lost things are always in the last place you look. So maybe you should check there first. Or we could check in the first place we looked last. What if Cat snuck back into the cabinet of curiosity after we checked it? That would mean he's been hiding inside the whole time we searched the house. But your dad's taking all the magic stuff back to the house of Swamp. So that's where we gotta go. Are you sure he'll be starving? Are you kidding? Cat eats like 10 meals a day. I don't know where he puts all that food. Ha! Gotcha! I'll call Dad and tell him we found him. Dad, it's Coop. Uh, hi, Millie. Can you put Dad on? Once Dad is on his way, I'll be off the hook. Coop! Dennis? Uh, Coop? Coop, look out! Resto! That was awesome! Hey, that trick isn't in here! must have fallen through this extra compartment in the back. Lucky you've got a flair for showbiz, Coop, or Cat might have been trapped forever. Ah, presto! Oh, Mr. Cat, you look so cute in that little hat. I just want to eat you up. Well, at least Millie stopped crying. Coop, your magic made the sun disappear. We're all doomed! Oh, never mind. Wow. Get the yarn, Mr. Cat. Get that yarn. <laughs> get the yarn, Mr. Cat. You get that yarn. Millie, get the yarn someplace else. We were here first. Mr. Cat and I can be here if we wanna. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Cat. Get the yarn. Hmm. Huh? Mr. Cat, you sure showed that ball of yarn who's boss. It's Bert and Burger on the breakaway! Coming help! Gangway! Do you mind? It's the third period. The score's tied and I'm going for a hat trick. You're not even wearing a hat, Poop. Ow! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Do you think there's a planet where sisters and cats don't exist? If it does, I'm first in line for the shuttle. <sighs> Birds have it made. They fly around in the sky. Nothing can touch them. Except for bats. Bats? And really tall robots. Hey, I know! We 
We should build ourselves a tree fort. Ow! Millie! Mr. Cat and I are butterfly hunting. Ow! Oh, oh we're so close. We'll get it next time. About that fort? Sooner rather than later, okay? This is gonna be the best tree house ever. It's not just gonna be a tree house, it's gonna be a tree castle. <laughs> ah! I wanna draw too. Scram, Millie, we're busy. Coop, that's no way to talk to your. Hey, are those plans for a tree house? Yeah, isn't it great? It's gonna have a video game room, a fireman's pool, and a helipad. What's that? That's the balcony for tea parties. We're not gonna be having silly stuff like tea parties up there. Besides, that's where the bowling alley's supposed to be. You want some help? Your old man has made a tree fort or two in his time. <laughs> uh, sorry, but Dennis and I wanna do this ourselves. No dads, no sisters, and definitely no cats. Who cares about your dumb old boy anyway? Come on, Mr. Cat, let's play hospital. All right, Dennis, let's find some wood to build with. Let's tear down the fence. That's the spirit. Whoa, boys, boys, not the fence. <sighs> what? Dennis, what are you doing? What? It's right here in the plants. See? <laughs> and high-tech security. Last one in is a smelly gym bag! <laughs> Way to go, boys! It's terrific! So where's the helipad and the fire pole and the dedicated candy room? They go up in phase two of construction! Well, what about the bowling alley? You said there was going to be a bowling alley! Prepare to be amazed! <laughs> My turn, my turn! No way, Millie. This fort is a little sister in cat-free zone. Ah, oh, come on, Coop. Give your sister a quick tour of the facilities. Fine, a quick tour. But don't touch anything. You might set off a booby trap. Oh. All right, Millie. Tour's over. Time to go. Am scray. Come on, Mr. Cat. We don't need their silly fort. <laughs> oh, I've read the same comic six times and it always ends the same way. Dennis, you're missing the point. You've read the same comic six times in your own tree fort! Hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way. Ice cream man! <laughs> I can still hear him! Where is he? It takes a certain kind of evil to fake an ice cream man drive by. Cat. The tree fork! No! We're taking our fork back if we have to tear it down to do it! You see him? There! There's the purple rat! I don't know about this, Coop. We built a lot of defenses into that fort. There's no way he could know our secrets. Besides, we've got the element of surprise. Big bombs away! <laughs> Shot. He's got our plans. 
How dare he use our own evil genius against us? <laughs> we put it around here somewhere. Take over! The ping pong a ding dong. Check. Sod lobber! Drop and roll! Ah, super spluce trip wire. How low can you go? Why go low when you can go high? True. Uh-oh. Is it snowing? Sheet. I've been looking for it all over the kitchen. Cat was using it to call other evil cats and they were answering him. And, and... Uh... Coop, you need to come up with a better story than that. If you need materials for the fort, just ask me. <laughs> Dad says it's only fair we take turns in the treehouse. Then you can come and join our tea party if you want. We'll build another tree fort, and it'll be even bigger and better, and it'll be in a secret location. Right after a quick snack break. Ice cream man! that way. 
Especially not since you promised me a three-for-one deal. Right? What? Remind me, Phoebe, what flavors do greenie girl cookies come in? Well, there's... Okay, fine! All right! Sorry, Phoebe. I guess Millie's a better sales girl than you. Which is why I'm gonna win this contest. Care to make a little wager? You bet I do. What do I get when I win? If you win, I'll give you my little Miss Bootsville princess tiara. <laughs> and if you win, how about an afternoon of quality time? <laughs> no way! Make it a week and you're on. Hey, you're not dragging me into your dumb little bet. I'll give you a four for one cookie deal. Deal. Yay, Coop's in the bet! I look forward to our quality time together, Coop. But, but, I, oh boy. <laughs> With my cuteness, the cookie orders will pour in. Right. Dad, I gotta help Millie win the top cookie seller contest. Ah, that's very brotherly of you, Coop. There's a four for one deal at stake. What we need is a gimmick. But what? <laughs> I think somebody just volunteered to play dress up. I wasn't talking about me. Aw, uh, don't you look cute? Yeah, cute like victory. Yeah, well, it's all for a good cause. Cookies. I wasn't talking about you. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell some cookies! Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's go sell some cookies. Not old Lady Munson. She's Captain Cookie's kryptonite. Don't be silly. Mrs. Munson always buys cookies from me. <laughs> oh, hello, Millie. Mrs. Munson, would you like to order multiple boxes of Greenie Girl cookies? Uh, sorry, Millie, I'm saving my pennies for Growler's new flea collar. He's had the same one for six years. But look at his cute costume. <laughs> ah, not Coop, Mr. <laughs> Cat. Oh, how adorable. Put me down for a case. Rowler's flea collar will just have to wait. Piece of cookie covered cake. Granny girl cookie! Let me talk to someone with money. <laughs> hey, Coop. Lauren? Harley? What are you doing? Getting a shot of the elusive Bookie. Half boy, half cookie, with a soft, nerdy filling. Ha ha. It's gonna be in our next release of Crazy Coop Collector Cards. What? Let me see those. Zombie Cat Boy. Got it. The Strikeout. Got it. Mr. Freddy Cat. Need it? I only collect them for the gum. Hi, ah! Coop. I believe this house is in my territory. Houses are up for grabsies. I'm way ahead in sales, so you can have it. I'll still win our bet and some quality time with Coop. <laughs> that does it. I'm calling off the bed. I have my dignity. <laughs> Billy, don't! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little girl. I I'll order some cookies from you. Thank you. That's the best sales gimmick ever! Pity! We can win this! The bet is still on! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Yay! I am so going to win the top cookie seller contest, Daddy! Then Phoebe can eat my cookie dust! See what happens when you two work together? Together? Yeah, right! Man, those are some heavy cookies. <laughs> Here, Daddy. You get the first box. Thanks, honey. Now, let it go. I can't. They're so good! <laughs> <sighs> that was close. <sighs> Even a greenie girl can't resist the call of the cookie for long. Please, can I have a cookie, Dad? They're so scrumptiously good. Coop, you know you can never stop at just one. No one can. 
I'll open this box after you help Millie deliver her orders tomorrow. It'll be your reward for a job well done. All of Millie's Greeny Girl cookies? Huh? <laughs> I didn't do it! The cat did! The crumbs on your face tell another tale, son. What crumbs? I haven't eaten a single cookie yet. Oh, those are Greeny Girl cookie crumbs, all right. I'm docking your allowance till you pay for all the cookies you ate. But I'll be 65 before I pay it off! Unless now is a good time to ask for a raise? <gasps> the loss of those cookies is nothing to joke about, young man. You're grounded until further notice. <laughs> if I don't have any cookies to deliver, I won't win the top cookie seller contest. And Phoebe will never let me forget it. There, there, sweetie. We can always move away if we have to. <laughs> I gotta clear my name and get my allowance back. Triple scoop to Waffle Cone. Report to the deep freeze ASAP. <sighs> What's with the gear, Coop? You and me are going catfishing. Millie's monster cat ate all her cookies and framed me for it. He sabotaged Millie? Why? To get to me! If Millie loses that bet, I'll have to spend quality time with Phoebe. <laughs> that cat truly is diabolical! So we'll set a trap and catch him in the act of cookie eating. But you said he ate all the cookies. Did he? Yes, we got the bait. Now we wait. And try not to eat these ourselves. <laughs> I am going to put this last cookie box where the cat will never find it. Sure hope the cat won't eat that box of cookies and frame me for it. Hmm. Waffle Cone, what's your status? Waffle Cone is in the cooler. I repeat, Checkpoint Chowtown is... Yeah, I can see for myself. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. For it, kitty. Shh. Did he see us? I'll check. He's gone. Way to blow our cover, Dennis. Me? You're the one who said shh. <laughs> <laughs> what is going? <laughs> Millie, you ate the cookies. They were so good! Ha! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! And for once, it wasn't you! But more importantly, it wasn't me! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Coop. I was wrong to accuse you. And as for you, Millie, well, I'm very disappointed. Welcome to my world. You'll spend an extra long time out in your room today. That's it? For eating all those cookies? She's just a little girl. And the call of the cookie is strong. But she does have to say she's sorry for framing you. Yeah! Millie? What he said. Close it up! All right! I just heard that Millie sold the most cookies. I've come to give her my little Miss Bootsville tiara. Yep, thanks, year round. Ahem. <clears throat> Phoebe! Wait. You ate all your cookies? But my dad's gonna pay for them. Oh, cool. <laughs> time for our quality time. Yeah, uh, sorry, Phoebe, but Coop's been grounded until further notice. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I've been a bad, bad boy. Oh, well, maybe Honey Fluff and I can spend some quality time with Millie and Mr. Cat. <laughs> Can I wear your tiara? Don't push your luck. I saved us an extra box. Cookie, anyone? <laughs> 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 